Good morning, to all traders, and welcome to another market size video provided to you by Wolves. Today is Thursday, the 5th of September. We're going to talk about FX minus. I have two very good opportunities for you GBB, JBY, and also Euro New Zealand. And why? I will explain why those pairs are moving and are likely to move. Now, we've had, um, of course, uh, the Brexit, um, some Brexit developments yesterday. Now, uh, a no deal Brexit is more uh, unlikely. Uh, the MPs want Boris to go back to the EU and ask for an extension for another three months. So this is good for the pound. Um, now, what is bad for the for the yen is the fact that we've had um, we have some um, shift to more risky assets. Okay, so everybody is taking the money, uh, everybody is selling the yen and going into more riskier assets that can provide better returns. Okay, so yen is falling at the same time. Now, on the euro side, we've had some very good PMIs yesterday from the European Union, from different countries, and at the same time, we've also got some very good uh, developments in Italian politics. There is now, there has been a, a government formed, okay? Now, that supports the euro, but the queue is stronger, and that is because um, the extradition bill from uh, Carrie Lam, Hong Kong, has been withdrawn. Okay, and that support also the Aussie as well as the Q, not just that, because that is our that are affecting uh, that was uh, affecting the uh, uh, risky and emerging, let's say, uh, currencies as well. Now, for the calendar today, we have ADP non-farm payroll and also the ISM non-manufacturing PMI. Very critical to see whether the Fed is going to step in or it's going to be. Uh, Trump, who's going to come, who's going to have to 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 take to take all the weight on his uh, shoulders, which I think it would be it would be very fair for everybody for Trump to do that. No, but uh, obviously now, if that comes out worse than expected as well, and following the manufacturing PMIs uh, on Tuesday, um, we might see the Fed shifting its view or changing its language. So um, GBP, JPY, ABC, A, ABC, ABC. This is where B is going to be completed, most likely. And then we are expecting wave C. So the question is, are we going to see uh, an impulse wave for wave C now, or are we going to move lower? It's a good question. We don't know what's going to happen. For now, we have a double bottom down here and a very good candle that shows that there it, is, it, is, it is quite impulsive. So that could indeed be the end of, of this impulsive move to the downside, okay? which is an ABC pretty much, with a, a C being impulsive. Um, down on the four hour, uh, we don't see anything different. We just see a nice combination here, WXY, ABC, that looks like it's ended. That, that could be a flat, okay, because we are actually still below 131 or so. Um, that could be a flat. It could turn out to be a bit more of a uh, sideways uh, area than expected, but because we get a nice signal on the RSI, we could see prices now pulling back and then breaking above that level, okay? We could still go up to 135 and then move down for wave five. So although um, with, cautious, uh, the, with cautiousness, this is a double bottom, but could end up uh, being uh, a, a fake sort of um, move to the downside. Not fake in terms of fake out, but just like, you know, to, to, to trick investors that, yeah, we ended with this move and we're now reversing up. Um, now on the euro, Kiwi, one, two, three, four, five, ended uh, 100 extension over here. ABC, okay. Now, our B ended around the 78.6. Again, this five looks truncated. It's a double top indeed, but as with GBP, JPY, we could see prices moving lower to wave four, a sideways market or whatever, and then a sharp upside move to take out the stops and start moving lower. We have a flat pattern here, okay? Actually, I see a running flat over here, to be uh, more precise, with the 100 Fibonacci extension ending around where wave three and five are. And um, that is why I'm really looking at now an impulsive wave uh, C. Uh, it could be also a triangle, but uh, I doubt that would be the case. Uh, but you never know. The thing is that we'll get a nice signal, not as strong as the GBB, GBY, of course, uh, but nevertheless, bearishly biased. And down on the four hour, as I said, the running flat over here, we had these nice three and then another three, and then one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, ignore the labeling. This label should be a minor, so that should be ABC. 
Uh, let me just, uh, it's okay. I mean, uh, as long as we've mentioned the mistake. Uh, very nice signal on the RSI. That's why prices are moving lower, but it could just be a move down here and that will turn a flat, okay? Or, um, I mean, that could be a running flat as well and prices will come up here to take the stops. We could see prices going down and then all the way up to take those stops and then moving all the way down. So there is different scenarios, different chances that can all play in, but as we speak in the short term, we are bearish. Okay, so this is all for the day. I want to thank you for uh, watching for another day. And as always, I want to remind you to visit our blog. This is the place where we cover all the latest news, all the latest headlines. We provide trading ideas and all the necessary tools traders need.